was also the same as mine, which is a wow. It's a free. It's a, it's a free website that's coming up on December three. Why December three? Um, we have our event mm. in Geneva actually, mm. where we're presenting the site mm. and presenting the importance of technology mm. um, to create social mm. change. We have some leading speakers mm. in the sector mm. and in, in technology, mm. in the social sector and in media who are going to be presenting mm. their opinions and speaking about how important mm. it is to use, to embrace the technology mm. that we have at our disposal mm. to be able to create change. Mm. Okay, so this is, uh, this is born, uh, um, it's a creation of you and, and, and your brother. Okay. Correct. This yeah. is my brother's. It's actually, it's my brother's idea. Mm -hmm. So you were the one who kind of put all all of these uh, put the whole package together. Now, have you always been socially aware? Because let's face it, we are called the generation, the apathetic generation, the generation that doesn't read, the generation that doesn't care, the generation that only goes on Facebook to put up what they're doing, what they're eating, what ice cream is is favorable. You, what you're what you're putting up now, as I told you earlier, is a social networking site that has a conscience. Aren't you afraid that you? This is a monumental task to to convince people that you can do something and you have to do something. What made you actually think that this could be possible? Well, I yeah. um, I hmm. think that's a, that's a fair point. Hmm. I think people do look at our at our generation hmm. a bit skeptically yeah. in terms of how much we're willing to hmm. do. But I think people do care, hmm. and I do think we have to assume that people are hmm. good. At least hmm. that's what we hmm. do. Um, I think the problem is. People have a low tolerance mm. um, to wasting a lot of time to get mm. involved. Mm. So if you provide them with the tools to do so mm. effectively and quickly, then mm. I think they will do it. Mm. You just have to let them know that, you know what, it's really easy. Mm. It's super easy and we can find something tailored to your needs. Mm. If that's volunteering over the weekend mm. or donating mm. or just signing a petition. Mm. It's just that they have to be aware of it mm. and they have to be aware that it's really easy. Mm. Because right now it's actually not so easy. Mm. For example, if there's a tsunami that hits Sri Lanka mm. or, or Haiti earthquake mm. take, for example, um, people may read about it, hear about it, but then they're like, what can I do? Then you have to wait for a couple of, uh, well, luckily 30 minutes before something pops up from probably Red Cross on how to donate. But, but it's a elaborate process. E exactly. Yeah. And you, for example, you're on the internet mm. and you read about it and then you have to go onto another site mm. to find out, okay, which organization involved, mm. which is the best way mm. for me to do it. And it, it's not necessarily so obvious mm. because uh, afterwards there's credibility mm. issues as well. Mm. There's also the fact that some people may not believe they can actually make a difference because right. you say, okay, you know, all you see on the news is people, mm. people getting hurt, people dying, mm. corruption. And or I'm just one. Exactly. Just saying, yeah. I mean, I felt that too. Mm. I, I, um, I completely understand. I, mm. I completely understand what people feel mm. because you just say, "Okay, I help someone. Mm. I give a little bit," but then there's still so many who, mm. who aren't being helped. Mm. And I think this sort of um, this sort of a portal, when you're doing so with so many other people, when mm. you're collaborating with so many other people, it helps. Hmm. It, it, it helps, and it, it helps you overcome this this uh, this issue. Okay, so for for the viewers watching, this is end ignorance. It's a it's a wonderful name. Who came up with? It? My brother came up with this name. And, and, and so it's going to be endignorance.org. Correct. Okay, this is one site where you can check out the uh, like learn about the issue that you're passionate about. You can get your information that's uh, from that one website. You can follow events related to the issue. Say there's a ongoing debate on certain countries about implementation of certain laws or or a proposal or uh, you can also connect with other people who may feel the same way or who may feel differently and uh, can also donate and do something about it so it's a one stop in and not to make it sound like it's a mom and pop uh, you know convenience store but it is a one stop when it comes to everything and anything about social issues and uh, so what really made you and your brother think that this is there is a need for this type of uh, I was like because as far as I know there is nothing like this that is despite the fact there are a million of websites. Uh, so what made you and your brother think that this oh, is Yeah, a, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a fair point. Mm. I think we, you look at, you look mm. at buying, buying stuff online. It's so easy. It is so mm. E mm. incredibly mm. easy. Yeah. You think about sharing photos mm. of your dog mm. in 50 different shades. Mm. It's so easy. Mm. You think about um, reading the news or interacting mm. on a sports site. It's also really easy. Mm. But or, or buying or buying coupons yeah. and all these deal sites, yeah. which are incredibly easy to use, which are incredibly useful mm. in their own way. However, we don't have that with the social sector. Mm. And one of the reasons is because people see it to be a non-lucrative market. Mm. And so people just aren't willing to, ex uh, to mm. invest 
Hmm. And so it's left to NGOs, foundations, hmm. and other people to, to take up hmm. the mantle. And they just aren't able to go to the same hmm. level as, for, for example, to the same level as what's happened on, in other sectors. Hmm. And we just feel, you know what, getting involved should be as easy as buying something. That is true. Yeah, because I, we know a lot of people who like to get involved with issues. They they get they get to be part of NGOs, international NGOs, and organizations. But sadly, they are territorially uh, confined to a certain space. As we all know, there is no space. There is no limitation when it comes to the World Wide Web. So. Uh, how excited are you with, with the project? Like, uh, from the get-go, when your brother decided, uh, Ta, this is what I want to do, was it an immediate, yes, let's do it? Or did you have to pause for a while and think, okay, how will this be accepted? Will it be an easy task? Like, this is, we're talking about not just a couple of websites of, or sources of data. You're talking about books that have been published, uh, speeches that have been made, articles that have been written, movies that probably is related to, cert to certain topics, uh, discussions on TV. That's uh, my monumental is understatement here. How, how, you gonna, like, how long did you have to pause for a while before you actually said, "We can do this"? <laughs> yeah, it, it, w it, it is exactly mm -hmm. as you describe it. It was when I f when mm -hmm. I was first explained this, mm -hmm. I was just like, "This is this is huge." Because the example alone that you gave is like uh, Brazil work in Brazil or a certain uh, exactly. um, uh, en alternative energy sourcing. So. It, it, mm. It, it just sounded mm. unfeasible, mm. or it just felt it, it just felt mm. unrealistic. Mm. How can we put all of these different things together mm. in one place mm. and make it user friendly? Mm. It's it's almost like twelve sites mm. in, one, in one, and you're trying to make it huh. easy to use yeah. and easy to browse. Mm. So at first, I was really hesitant. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to mm. lie. Mm. Um, I was very hesitant, but my brother persisted hmm. and after a couple of months of helping out hmm. out of uh, brotherly obligation <laughs> um, I realized that this was special hmm. and that's when I talked about hmm. it with a couple of friends hmm. uh, from university hmm. and that's when the project really launched okay. and it's taken over a year to get to a point where we have an interface that is hmm. really easy to hmm. use and the whole thing is working seamlessly hmm. well we hope to see you back after uh, December 3 after we get to uh, log on to end the uh, ignorance.org sadly we have, we have uh, ran of time Taha all the best it is it is an exciting project I look one I'm one of those who look forward to it it's a wow thing <laughs> and for people to fi and finally for our generation to not be to not be described as the apathetic the one who only goes to social networking site to post what their how their dog looks like today <laughs> so thank you very much Taha thank you so much. we hope to see you back seriously <laughs> and uh, and just before I end also another number that you can call just in case uh, you need help when it comes to uh, like violence and uh, it's uh, 1929 that's 1929 and uh, once again for women in need it's Four seven one eight five eight five. Thank you again, and uh, we have. We'll have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you back on Monday, and uh, have a great Friday.